What's up, guys? It's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Google Shopping campaign. So it's pretty cool. Um, the Google Ads, you know, and the Bing Ads that we've been doing before, where it has the headline and the text uh, with the Cyclic extensions, that's not the only way to create your ads on Google. There is also something that looks like this, and you may have noticed it right there, right? So here I've typed in Red Sox buy, for example, as an example, there's going to be a ton of different stuff I could write, um, and it's going to show up pictures and it's going to show these ads on the side so in you know our ad that we've been doing it was only showing up at uh, right right over there see where it says ad uh see ad ad right and then at the bottom here it's gonna say some too but this is also pretty eye-catching because obviously it has a picture something that these ads do not have now the requirement for this is that you do need physical products you can't sell online software products online you do need physical products all right so i'm just going to make some fake product just to show you the process for doing it but obviously for you you would you know just make your own products and you would need a website right for this because if i go on a particular site so let me just click on this one in new tab it's going to take me to the website where this product is sold so you would need something like that as well so without further ado let's begin so here i'm in my account let's go into tools and google merchant center so we'll need to create our account first so we'll need to say sign up and I believe, okay, so let's put the country. So I am currently in Canada. So I'm going to put that. Uh, name of your store. So whatever the name of your store is, I'll say Affiliate Marketing Essentials. That's just my website. But of course, you would have your own store, right? So put that in. I'll put in my website. Uh, primary contact okay so I'll put in my name for the primary contact I'll put in my email um, you can you can check these I'm just gonna uncheck that because I don't need that send me updates with tips and best practices all that stuff you know you can add a different contact for a technical issue for a customer service issue so this is just basically setting up your account so we'll need to say continue oh I must start with HTTP or HTTPS I'll say that and then I'll say continue okay so uh, just read through these, it's just some basic terms and conditions, you know, all the, all the legal stuff. There's not much. Uh, basically, you authorize Google to use your trademarks, you operate a service that enables third-party content, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I'm just going to click continue. <laughs> okay, so you need to claim your website, all right? So what I do is I actually, I don't do this. Uh, I go into alternative methods, and then I click on this. Now, you, you actually can't see it. Uh, but there's tiny little gray circles on the sides, right? Which for me, when I first saw this, I'm like, oh, there's only one way to do it, but it says alternative methods, odd. But actually there's tiny little circles on the side. So I click on this, I click on HTML tag. So again, depending on what you're doing, um, if it's, for example, a ClickFunnels page you're doing, you can go to, should be able to do this, yeah. So. Um, on WordPress or ClickFunnels, for example, what you can do is you can take this link and you can put this in the header section of your page. So actually, uh, let me do this real quick on my ClickFunnels page. Literally, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to go on my ClickFunnels page. I'm going to go in the header section and I will just copy and paste this part there. All right. So after I do that, I will be right back and we will click on verify and claim. So one second. I'm back. So uh, actually, not ClickFunnels. Uh, this site is actually uh, done on my WordPress. So I had to go into WordPress and put in the um, that little code just in the header section. All right. Uh, you may have a if you're using WordPress, there may also be a spot specifically for Google Analytics. Um, it will say something like use this code to verify your site, and that's what you would need to do it where you would need to put that little code in right so just right over there so after you do that you'll click uh, verify and claim and then it takes me to this part all right so then you can click on finish and then that's pretty much it so now you've verified that the site is yours so the site is yours it's ready kind of to to take action with right so now that's my site on which I will have my products on okay so in this case obviously that's just my kind of blog site that's related to YouTube uh, I'm not gonna sell physical products there, but for you, you would pick your own site. So after you do that, let's go into products and let's go to feeds. Now, one thing we can also do right away, or we, we, okay, so let's create a feed first and then I'll show you how to link our account to Google AdWords because we will be editing and adjusting and making our uh, shopping campaigns from Google AdWords, okay? So we'll need to go to uh, products and feeds and click on this little plus sign here. 
and I'll click standard. Uh, test is basically you'll be testing it, but um, I'll just go with standard and we can test it from there as well. Uh, select the product. So online product inventory update means you already have all your products ready. You are ready to upload the entire list. If you say products, that means you're going to edit it one by one, which we will do here. I will show you what you need. Let's click that. Target country. Let's again say Canada. Language English. Feed name. You know, um, my site sales. And let's go to continue. So now you have three options. You can upload a file where you have all the products in. You can uh, take a file from your website that already has all the data, or you can use Google Sheets that they provide you. That Google provides you. You literally fill in all the information there. You upload it, and that's it. You're good to go. Okay. So let's go with this one for now. Let's click on continue. Uh, we'll generate a new sheet because we're new. We don't have a sheet right now. Uh, create an upload schedule. That is not necessary. We'll just uh, get the spreadsheet right now. So I'll click save. Uh, yes, that's fine. Give them permission to do all that. And give it a second. And it should pop up the Excel sheet that we can take and we can put in all the information. Okay, so that's ready here. Uh, it is paused now. Let me see. Let's click on that. Okay, so now we'll need to go to edit spreadsheet, okay? And this is where we change everything here. So here are all the necessary parts you do need to edit. I will send you a link to this page here, which tells you what every single one of these are, uh, all of these and whether they're required or not. So for example, ID is required. So we do need to put in a product ID. So if you're selling an item, you, you may already have an ID, but we can make something up uh, for now. So let's say one, two, three, four. Title, this would be the title of your product. What is it? So in, you know, in our case, what I showed you here, it was Red Socks. So let's say Red Socks, and that would really show up right there. See that? So it says Mini Waffle and Sherpa, Hunter Red. That's what it would show there, right? That would be the title. Uh, let's go back here. So description, this is like your keywords, right? So you can have up to 5,000 words. Um, so the way your results show up is not by, you know, having the same keywords as we had before, like broad match, broad match modifier, phrase, or exact. It's more of uh, Google will automatically see what you have written down here and link it with what people type in. Kind of like the dynamic search ads uh, that we discussed before, where Google automatically matches whatever's on your site to whatever people type in, right? And then they create a headline based on that. So kind of same thing here. So for description, we could say socks, awesome socks, red socks, um, you know, boy socks, girl socks, whatever, right? So this is where you would really put all this stuff in. Uh, so for the link, you would put in the link to your site. So let's say, you know, a com for here condition so for condition again some of these things uh you would have to check in here i believe condition was uh if we scroll down a bit uh let's look for condition i'm just gonna look for here condition here so this is also required and it had you can either say new refurbished or used right so that's what you would say here so i don't know let's say used price you would obviously put the price in so let's see what type of um how they want us to write that in again. So you would search for price. Uh, let's look for price somewhere up above here. And again, I'm gonna send you this page so you can know what to look for. So price here, okay. So you can just say 15.00 USD, for example, if it's in US dollars. So let's say that, let's just say 20 USD. Uh, availability so this is either in stock out of stock pre-order stuff like that again if you want to look it up here up oh, availability and let's look this up price and availability right there so it's either in stock out of stock or pre-order that we can write here okay so let's say pre-order and then image link that's going to be the link to your image right this is also required that's going to be the that picture right there so we definitely need that so look for something there uh additional image link image link right there so you need to put it in um 
uh, you would need to put it in like a website format. So you can go to a website like tinyurl.com. Is it tinyurl? No, sorry, not tinyurl, tinypick.com. Uh, and you can add your image there and you can make it in like one of these formats, right? I believe so. And then you can just upload it here to there. Let's say www.imagelink.com and then that should be good to go and you're pretty much ready. So these are optional. So you can read more about those over here. So for example, if I type in G10, right? Uh, so this is actually not required. Uh, it's only required for all new products with the GTN assigned by the manufacturer. So uh, this is optional for all other products. Okay. So here you would, this would be a max. Okay. So this is something like this um, ISBN number for textbooks, for example, right? So if you have that, this is where you would put it. You would put that right there. So after you do that, uh, I mean, you can pretty much just exit out. All changes are saved. So you can exit out. And now what you can do is you can say fetch now. And now that will automatically kind of upload this data that you put in to your sheet. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to start processing. You may have to refresh it uh, because otherwise it's going to get stuck at zero forever. That's kind of the, the first time I did this, I, I was thinking, why is it stuck on zero? Uh, so let me just uh, pause the video for a bit and I'll be back in a few minutes after this loads. Okay, so I hit refresh. I think it took like about 10 seconds actually. And it said processed, but it was unsuccessful. Okay, and we can see why it's unsuccessful down below. So it says currency is not supported. So we said 20 USD, but we are in Canadian, right? So we need to use uh, Canadian currency. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on edit spreadsheet. And I'm going to change this to make that CAD. And it says saving and then I'm going to exit out of it. And now I will say fetch now again, and I'm going to give it a few seconds and I will pause the video and I'll be right back in a few seconds. Okay. So I'm back. And as you can see here, it is successful now. So there's no errors. So that was a good example of if something does go wrong, Google does let you know so you can fix it. So now that we've done that, we're good to go with our products, right? Obviously you would put in as many products as you want. This is just one out of one. But if you have more products, you know, it's going to be two out of two, three out of three, four out of four, et cetera, et cetera. And you, you need to make sure all of them are right. So if you want to edit everything, just go there, edit spreadsheets. Now we need to link our accounts, right? So we need to go to account linking and we need to link this to our AdWords account because this is from where we're going to uh, actually have our ads. So as you can see here, this is the customer ID of my kind of google fake google account right that i that, that i use for illustration purposes so you will say link account if not just say you know at the top it's going to have an option like this link account just put that in put in your customer id the email and everything should be good to go so now we need to actually create our campaign and the way we can do that is we can just go here or we can do it from our google adwords which i'll show you in a second but this is probably the easiest way to get started so you know here let's say red Sox again same thing again you would do the same thing as we learned in our previous videos about the bids and all that stuff you would do that here so let me pick my country maximum cost per click you know i'll say one buck budget let me say five bucks here and i will say create and that is it. So now I can manage this campaign from my Google AdWords. So let me go into my AdWords again. I can probably close. Uh, we can see what we have going on here. Now I've, I've added a few, um, these are categories. These are not products. So you can't add products in your Google AdWords. You need to add the products in your merchant center in that Excel sheet. So again, if we go to feeds and you click on this and you go to edit spreadsheet, you should be able to edit and make changes there. Um, but aside from that, it should show up here within two or three business days. All your products that you upload, they will not show up immediately. And you can make categories and subdivide your products into these different categories that you create here by clicking, um, you know, check, subdivide, and you can just create additional um, divisions. But that's really about it. Um, after you do that and you create your products here and you link it with Google AdWords, you should have everything set up and up and running. So that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for those of you that have subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.